Sunset Tower. It's the Album Concept Hour. Welcome, everybody, to the Album Concept Hour podcast, the podcast where we break down concept albums, uh, start to finish track by track, and try to figure out what they are about. Uh, Today, we're doing Ween's Quebec, which is, uh, it's, uh, Ween is one of those bands we're kind of just uh, going to cover whichever ones we feel like, because they're concept band, in my opinion. Um, But uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk more about that when we get to it. Uh, And uh, yeah, I'm your host, Brad LeBaron. Uh, we have our, uh, co-host John over here. What's going on, John? Oh, just chilling over here, ready to talk about some ween, my homie. Hell yeah. And then we got Dave over there. What's going on, Dave? Hello. And, um, oh, fuck, I didn't write your name down. Um, we have a new friend, John, you want to introduce him? Edgar. My friend, Edgar from work. Wings over Madison. Hey. Buy our wings. Yes, Hello. yes. That's a local, Happy to be here. local, local place. If you like the wings, go get the wings and tell them. The album concept hour sent you. Definitely. Yeah. There you go. Get a discount. Got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the album concept hour discount. All we got to do is tell Jeremy. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. We have uh, we have Edgar here to uh, help us break down uh, Ween's. This is actually Quebec. his pick. This Definitely. is his pick. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, later on, uh, if you stick around, we have our first sponsored segment. So stick Ooh. around for a very special what is Dave drinking today. Mm. Spicy. Um <laughs> but uh yeah yeah so you were the one that suggested Wien's uh Quebec. Yeah. Uh what is your uh, personal connection to uh Quebec? Well, to be honest, I first got introduced to Wien by an ex girlfriend's father. Okay. And then after really? that it took off. Yeah. Like, cool I dad. fell in love oh, with yeah, yeah his his inspiration really yeah. just stuck with uh Quebec in general is a to me is a very special album because the, yeah. most of the song goes to you know right in your face and mellows out mm, and then, yeah and then yeah. it gets very deep which for me at tough times in my life been the album i would listen to yeah yeah i would mm-hmm. i would agree with that sentiment because yeah. um this uh compared to a, like pretty much all the other ween that i have listened to <clears throat> is uh a much more personal yeah uh, uh music than i was expecting definitely um, which makes sense. I mean, this is 2003. This is like, you know, a good 20 years into their uh, career. Yeah. Uh, making music together. Yeah. Um, and, uh, as you were saying, you we said did... they were friends like forever, right? Yeah. yeah, Gene, yeah. From school together, vocals high and school Gene on, well, probably junior high, honestly, yeah, but probably. I think they, yeah, they played, so. uh, as Ween, uh, at 16, I Definitely. think is when yeah. it was put together. Uh, it looked yeah. like it was a talent show. For they the did do it for a talent show. Yeah, and yeah. It was amazing because they uh-huh. first wrote their first song called uh, Wayne's Pet Youngin, which is Pet uh, Youngin. Yeah, you, know, you could listen to that one on the <laughs> Pure Guava, I believe. Oh, Pure Guava, album. yeah. yeah. The Pure Al- uh-huh. Guava album has it yeah, on there. Yeah. That's amazing. It's funny, okay. but that was the first song they actually wrote together when yeah. they got together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they, yeah, they've been doing it since they were very young. They they kept doing it for a long time. Um, we didn't get into too much of their, their backstory on the last, uh, ween one we did, which was, uh, uh, was Ocean the Mollusk. Man. The Mollusk. Mm-hmm. The Sorry. Mollusk. The Mollusk. Yeah. Ocean Man. Ocean, Ocean Man. Take SpongeBob me fans. Hand. There it is. SpongeBob fans. Sing yeah, it out. Yeah. Um, Ocean Man. Yeah. That was the, the album that inspired SpongeBob. Um, mm. and, uh, yeah, yeah. This one, again, very, very personal. Um, I don't know if, uh, wait, have you seen the Sparks Brothers documentary? Dave, that? you should watch Don't that. Think it's, so. it's on Netflix. Uh, I've been hearing on it, about it on all the, the Earwolf channels, but uh, it's the band Sparks, which is this uh, uh, you know odd t- uh, duo. Uh, they were they were brothers, so they made music from uh, junior Forever. high on. Um, and uh, they're they, one of the things I get to in the documentary is the fact that they're like one of those bands that inspired a lot of the bands that you love. Uh, but you don't know it necessarily. And uh, having just watched that documentary and listening to this album, I have a completely different perspective on Ween because they're essentially the same band. type of band as as Sparks. Uh, Sparks is a band that like would you know flow between different styles and different ideas yeah. and just do what they want. You yeah, know, they just push it out creatively. They just kept on making music. And um, they they're still making music, um, but yeah, yeah, I got got a lot of uh, 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 similar vibes uh, uh, to Spark that. We we'll definitely get to talking about Sparks now that I know, mm-hmm. and now that I'm aware of them. Nice. Yeah. Um, but 
Yeah, yeah, they inspired this. They inspired uh, some uh, some eighties groups. They inspired like Weird Al, you know, um, people like that. Um, but yeah, we're not talking about Sparks today, though. You're talking about <laughs> Ween and uh, uh, their their fucking beautiful album Quebec. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, but uh, to start things off, uh, before we get to Quebec, we're going to ask you one question that we ask a lot of our first guests when they come in when we remember to do so. What is some music or, or bands that you kind of called your own? What was, what was your first spark, almost? Yeah, what, what sparked? Was what it sparks? really like it sparks? caught it's your spark. eye? You know, uh, like first. Yeah. At first, when I was five, at least my earliest memory of music for sure had to be hip hop. My yeah. sister used to yeah. really like enjoy hip hop music oh, and yeah. R&B, so. Yeah, yeah. But then, I don't know, I took a left turn, went straight yeah. to old school rock and roll and been in love with classic rock since then you know uh, okay. Yeah, he, so, okay he loves he loves uh like um like like uh what is uh, it pink uh, floyd he loves pink a lot floyd, of pink floyd yeah, yeah. you know frank zappa led zeppelin mm. oh yeah i also enjoy bb king uh-huh. elvis uh-huh. a few albums el- elvis albums elvis, and yeah uh, yeah what's uh what's his name okay did, uh, he did tutti frutti Oh, um, oh, little Richard. Yep, little yeah, yeah, Richard yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Okay, you like the classics. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Good. Oh, good to remember. Okay. An old soul. Good to know what I'm working with. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I have like I love that stuff. I, I almost have the world. opposite uh, journey because like I I got to hip hop late. Uh, and I was yeah, all too. rock before that. It's right. a different path. You know? yeah. now, I'm, now, I'm, <laughs> now it's everything because of this podcast or whatever. Definitely. Well, this podcast is just kind of all yeah. roads lead. I don't even you know? know what I like anymore. I just, I have, I just I like music. I like music. music. Best, love music. <laughs> the pod- Brings everyone together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so you have a you have an eclectic kind of uh, taste in music. So yeah, yeah, we we fits with that because yeah, they exactly. they do. Everything they like, you know, they, they dabble, the they dabble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we'll probably get to the the country album, the Twelve Country Greats, uh, hey. for the next Ween album that we do. By the way, mm. I know you're all sitting there wondering. Thank you. I think where's you the were country? talking about it's that a great one. country it's album. It's a great honestly. country album. And there's a cool <laughs> story behind it. Um, but uh, yeah, this so this album uh, is coming out 2003. Uh, during a really tough time in, was it Gene Ween's? Uh, Gene life? Ween's and in the band Ween. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's so true. Both. It was both. Mm-hmm. It was a double whammy for some hard yeah. chips. The, the drummer uh, was in a bad car accident yep. and couldn't play for a while. And uh, yeah, Gene was going through divorce. So, that, mm-hmm. That'd be tough, too. Yeah. I think you so said sad. he wrote most of these songs like, in that time period where it's just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was turning in my I don't know if it's like therapy or just like ideas or what was going on. And yeah, I, I would think probably a form of therapy. Just kind of uh, just for working them. way through it. Um, you said something really good uh, uh, to describe it, Edgar. Um, how <laughs> it's uh, it, it's kind of like they're fa- they're p- possibly facing the end of their band or yeah, with exactly. Because like you know, before what was it, his name Claude Coleman? Before he yeah. got in the car accident, I mean, yeah. they were they. This is their eighth studio album. Yeah, when it came out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. at that point, they've had a they have had a relationship with each other. They were yeah close together. Yeah, yeah. So like the accident just really brought it down because like if he couldn't mm-hmm. play drums again because he was paralyzed for a while from the waist down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. as a drummer, kind of need the pedals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, just, you can do like, it with just your hands, but it's. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, we look at the drummer from Def Leppard for that one, you know. Well, he had his feet though. <laughs> like I was, I, I have that's seen true. someone play. That's with, that's actually I true. I've seen someone that's play with one leg though. I think Travis Barker one time. Hmm. I think one of his legs was broken or something. Okay. I don't know. But um, anyways, anyway, it, it, yeah. it, it mostly though, <laughs> you it's it's probably the end for for you as a drummer. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, unless you want to go through that, you know, rigorous journey or whatever. Um, but yeah, so he's in the hospital, so it's mostly just, uh, just the, the two weens yep, there. Gene and Dean. Gene and, and Dean. Dean. Yep. Um, and, uh, they're going through some shit. Uh, and yeah, that's part of, uh, part of what I love about this album and what we're going to get into here. It's a, it's a very, um, it's probably the least humorous, uh, uh, Ween album, I think that I've heard. You know what I mean? There's oh, always yeah. like some. There's like a few things here and there, but oh, it's for not sure. as yeah. silly, I guess, is what you're expecting. But uh, yeah, this first track we got for you guys 
uh, is not up on my program. But <laughs> I am going to open it right now. What is the first track anyway? Oh, it's going to be, be a long night. night. Oh, that's right. It's going to be a long night. Don't call the doctor. In your face. Don't call the police. <laughs> Don't even call your mom or the priest. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh man, how did Motorhead do this album? <laughs> yeah, well, like, when, when did we start listening to the Ace of Spades? You know? yeah, they really, Cheap. like, wanted to come at you. Just yeah, yeah. Fast and hard. <laughs> just yeah, right yeah. in your face. You yeah, know? yeah. Great. And it, it really doesn't, like, take any time either. It's like, no. in the first half second, it oh, just no, goes right at it. Starts at like 11. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Which is a cool choice. Yeah. You don't yeah. hear that. You don't hear that much <laughs> on albums, you know? Um... But yeah, yeah, again, I made the joke, Motorhead energy. Oh, dude. It very, very we much. We all, we, like, at even Lance from, from my other job, you know, like. Well, I don't, I feel like they Motorhead are, is, like, yeah. the first, like, band that comes to head yeah. when, when you hear this song. I feel like, they, like, they're literally doing an homage. Like, I they're think doing so. it, like, consciously. I don't think yes. it's even an accident. I think they're like, let's make a Motorhead type <laughs> song. Let's do it. No, it's awesome. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Let me R.I.P. Man. Hey, R. man, that, that 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 guy's in the in the the Guinness Book of he's World got, Records he's got for thrown, most plays. He's got a throne waiting. He yeah. was already set. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was set. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great uh, uh, way to start the album. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, let me see if I can get some some lyrics up here. So if we can make some sense of of all this. Um, and yes, yeah, towards the end, I like that little lyric right there. He did say gangbang. I mean, it's going to be a long night, as the <laughs> yeah, title yeah, says, yeah, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, because these guys, these guys are, you know, kind of not uh, not afraid of, of saying some uh, 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 off-the-wall things in their music. <laughs> no, not at all. You really. know what I mean? Off-color things, I yeah. guess. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of bands will avoid that because they want to, you know, maintain radio <laughs> But with them, it's very kind of tongue-in-cheek, too. I mean, they're... Yeah. If, it's if clever. you listen to when you know what you're getting into, you're not be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. shocked by this, like, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It's usually it's usually got a, a reason, yes, to it. Read yeah. well, sense of humor. Yeah. It's, uh, but yeah, you were talking about the, oh no, 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 yeah, the, that little don't, bit right there, the chorus. Yeah, don't call your mother, don't call your priest, don't call your doctor, call the police. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. You bring, oh, you bring the razor blade. I'll bring the speed. There you go. Take off your coat. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Hell bring yeah! Your, bring your snow. Bring your bring your jacket. This We're is a great, flurries. This is a yeah. great way to start the album. Like for real. Like it's they're literally telling you like this is a well. First of all, it's a long album. Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a, almost an hour. It's fifty five and some change. Right. Um. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's gonna be a cat fight. It's gonna be gangbang. Yep. They're telling yeah. you that right up front. <laughs> right up front. So but you I'll know tell what you. To expect. But I'll tell you what. The next tune really just like like. Let's you sit back, you know. It tells you to yeah, sit back here. It's and true. This is the, a real left. You really turn. have to enjoy. Yep. So it could also be the rest of a lot the, of things uh, are emotionally the because depending on what it's going in through, it could be like all right, buckle in. It could be like someone telling you a story of the entire thing. That's like, good. That could be it too. This could be like yeah. strap in. Like this mm -hmm. is what's going on with our life. This was like, yeah. There's a lot of heavy shit coming. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because I mean, like like you we were saying, like it does get to some of more, the more personal parts of of his life. But um, yeah. Speaking of that, this first the second track is. Uh, maybe a uh, 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 not example of that, but one of the one of the you know they're they're this is where they're having fun with it. Yeah. This is Zoloft. Give me that C O L O F T. No longer pissed. You don't bother me. I'm making it through. Nice, fast, nice. clip. Also, Compass had a sense oh. of humor. They would use this song like in every commercial. That's the wait, what? that's the drug song. <laughs> there you go. So if they had a sense of humor, they'd buy this and use it in every goddamn commercial. That's true. Yeah, exactly. that's Come true. on, this should be the Zoloft <laughs> theme song. Oh God, because uh, like, yeah, it, all right, okay, yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I have a very no. This this song really embodies like drug. 
you know, usage, you know, well, like, not, well, drug, drug, so, pharmaceutical. Yes, we should. Yes, <laughs> especially <laughs> this is actually this embodies what so off does to you. Yeah. The, it puts you right up yeah. into the atmosphere, and you are just floating. Well, on well okay, I, I'll have to say, you like, know? like, just <laughs> as someone. So, okay, this has a personal connection to me. I actually take the uh, uh, another version of Zoloft. It's like you know the side brand, the, the Walmart brand. Oh, Zoloft, right, right. Okay. Um, and uh, I will say, like. He is embellishing quite a bit, of course, because like this isn't like he's one probably, of those. He's probably doing this more is than a, he has, more, more oh, than yeah, he should. Definitely, he's for, overdosing uh, almost. Well, no, no, no. What of, I'm saying is like know? it's an anti-anxiety, antidepressant type mm -hmm. thing. Um, but uh, uh, for the most part, it it mostly just it takes bad stuff away as as opposed to making you feel good. If that makes sense, okay. yeah, you know. Yeah. So like he's kind of like he's, he's embellishing a little bit on like the. Uh, uh, I think Over the effects, happiness yes. that he's experiencing. I think he's being ironic. I yes, guess, is, because is what I'm again, this wow. Since this talk just takes a whole left turn right after the first one, you know, mm -hmm. like it goes oh yeah, mellow, exactly. After it's the a mellow motorhead comes into like a track. mellow and soft uh, tempo. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, like Zoloft. That he's pretty much explaining that he's been taking it almost. Yeah, he's well, and it's and, and, he's and, proud of it. In a weird way, he is, but he yeah. knows uh, at the same time it's just still going through a tough time again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's out. it's it's his way of of like trying to numb relating that. To it's yeah. really it's really the numb yeah. part, the ignoring yeah. part, yeah. you know, exactly. of the whole process. Yeah, yeah. you know. Well, and because I think that at the same time that he's going through a divorce, he's probably having a lot of like just existential crisis, yeah, issues know, down, down walking a dark path in his own mind, man. Yeah, like, yeah, how, yeah. yeah. You know, um, and luckily he's got his his his, his uh, buddy. Uh, uh, what was it? Mean Ween. Dean. Deaner. Deaner. Gene Ween. Gene Ween's Gene the Ween. vocalist, and then Dean Ween's the, the guitarist. Which ones? Oh, sorry. Which ones? The ones going through a divorce. Uh, Gene. 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 Gene okay. was the only one going through a divorce. I believe. This is so confusing for how my brain uh, works. His real name is Aaron Gene Freeman. Gene, Brad? <laughs> for me, any any name that has the the same number of letters is the same name in my brain. So like, you know, Dave and Brad, those are the same. Uh, Gene Ween, Dean Ween, my brain doesn't know what to do with this. Uh, <laughs> if you know uh, so, what so I need, very to, confusing. If you know what I need for my brain. I'm let glad me know. it's only a duo. It's not like four or five guys in the. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, this is this is easier just to, be to just follow. Just drowning in the different weens. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> The Ween Bros, <laughs> um, but Mean Ween is someone we'll come to in, in a little bit. Right um, there's Mean Ween makes a show up at the uh, the chocolate something chocolate something. town, chocolate town. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I love this track. Oh, I, it's a great track. As someone that takes so loft, it's you know, I, I finally have a theme I, I song do, I do wanna, for my own medication. No, dude, I, I do want to <laughs> say too, like this was like because I helped you clip like the first half of the album, you know, and they're like. <laughs> I I didn't when you first brought up we and I didn't like know anything about oh, yeah, it. That's right. And you, then I the heard, heard this before. song and I was like, holy crap. It was yeah. like Ted Ted played this song a yeah. million times I when I was just like making dough. Yeah. Yep. And I like come in hungover and like make <laughs> dough, you know, and yeah. I'd be like, Dang, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah I'm all like, right too. And then like I was like, oh man. Then I started. That's when I started listening to other stuff, and I was yeah. like, oh man, I I've known this band for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's one of those. It's one yeah. of those bands where it's like, again, like if you mm -hmm. watch the SpongeBob movie, oh, Ocean God. Man, Ocean like, you'd be like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the the Leo meme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they're definitely one of those bands. They're just ubiquitous. Eh. I think I'm using that word right. The next song, uh... Yeah, next song we got, uh... Has also been in several things that you probably Fans have Dermal either played or listened to. Fans Dermal Celebration? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, this is... <laughs> this one actually, uh, Devin Townsend Project did a cover of it, so it must be pretty popular. Oh, yeah. Uh, not that he's, like, well, the example uh, of Wikipedia popularity. Wikipedia said it was he's one what? of the singles. Under, so. He's pretty... He's pretty good. He's got a name from somebody. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. know. People, you, people you know. drop that name, like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain circles. Really. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Transdermal Celebration. Oh, 
got to say <gasps> is that if uh, Dean Ween does not get put in the Guitarist Hall of Fame, that rift right there oh, as he was yeah, going yeah. down the neck of the fret. Yeah. Of the yeah. Oh, man. You just like chills still. Well, that's the greatest. Oh, I think dude. that's one of the best things about this album in particular is uh, the guitar work. Is, yeah. Especially with the like kind of minimal drums uh, due to the drummer being, you know, gone. Yep. Like it's they're really like pulling out all the stops, it seems, with the guitar. Yeah. So I had it was uh, yeah. mostly them too, just the entire album. Yeah. You know, they, like, yeah. They had the keyboarders come in and do some of them, like yeah. some of the keyboard work, mm-hmm. but throughout this entire album, it's just more mostly Gener and Diener. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I guess their their process would be uh, at this point would be just um, they rent a house or studio space for like a month, and then just take that entire month do everything. Yep. Yeah. So. Just rock at it you know yeah yeah definitely was good that was probably a long night for them <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yeah yeah ah, man it does it has such a cool tone oh definitely yeah yeah if it, is he in the are they in the hall of fame i don't believe so yeah i don't think so no yeah. fuck that's I'm saying, I feel like, yeah you're right i feel like they should be yeah, yeah. yeah. they're an underground they're they're yeah. like the underdog of, of the rock group i feel like yeah well like w- one thing that you know the sparks documentary gets into is like the fact that like people don't really know where to place like bands that are humorous but not like weird al right you know like they don't know where to place like just rock bands that have like funny songs every yes. now and again you know like, what i mean should we take them serious what yeah what yeah these guys? they want to, they want to either take them seriously or think they're funny all the time yes. but like they're in they're not one of those groups no, yeah. definitely not. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people. Uh, when I've ever played the song, if Johnny's not there, they're all like, "What are you listening to?" I'm like, "Ween." <laughs> <laughs> I know you wouldn't ever heard of him, and most of the people I work with are younger than me. So yeah, I'm like, yeah. yeah. Wait, I didn't know Ween until someone young-ins. introduced it to me. You know, yeah. like, yeah, my my friend was uh all about the mosque. My friend really loved the mosque, I mean, so he showed me a little bit of that. Reminds me of like you know something in the vein of uh they might be giants sort of in that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kind of yeah. Like they were probably the so most very also yeah. influential for so many bands. I was gonna say they're probably one of the most <laughs> successful bands that has so many humorous elements. You know, I guess them and like Frank Zappa. You know, Frank Zappa is like the godfather of those kinds of groups. <laughs> Um, oh, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank's Garage. I, I haven't even Joe, heard Joe's much. Garage. Joe's we have garage. to listen to it. I haven't even heard much Frank Zappa yet, but like just That's... from all of the side stories, <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, he's the guy. Yeah, he's the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so people don't know where to put Ween sometimes, you know. Uh, apparently, they're, they're not allowed. They were uh, uh, kicked out of, of going to NBC late night. <laughs> they like, they, they, I don't know, there was something that they put on the stage that wasn't cleared oh man um, it wasn't even i don't know i don't understand it but they're not allowed at nbc anymore. <laughs> as of the 1998 nbc we have rules documentary i was watching yeah we don't understand you i you no longer yeah, welcome i don't get this <laughs> this makes me feel old should we be offended i have no idea what this is <laughs> but um yeah this this one kind of uh Trippy gives me song. Me- memories to to last week the uh uh pink lemonade you know this is the kind of thing that you would see in the pink lemonade album uh with this line like tectonic tectonic tribulation formed a crust of green beyond the reef well waves fell into formation as the plants to bend with spike leaves oh caused the plants to bend with spike leaved spiked leaves god damn it um but yeah, yeah, really, really fun, like trippy uh, uh, lyrics. This one could would probably fit in the mollusk too, I think. Yeah, get into some of that sea stuff again. Oh, I get to see it too. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I feel like with this uh, track, it's it's more of a self conscious feeling because you yeah. went from we went from Zoloft yeah. to this. Oh yeah. So like oh, yeah. it's kind yeah. of like what like, like uh, the other yeah, side yeah, of the, it's just the, side of the drug spectrum. A, a, a descend right now because yeah, exactly. he starts off like almost manic, yeah, and then uh, immediately it's, it's he's a like quick. It's a quick, quick change. Yeah, into excited madness. about this a lot, and then this one he's very, <laughs> you know, this is where he starts to get kind of more gazing inward or something. Exactly, like he's taking a self like yeah, mental yeah. note in his like mind. Like a different drugs going. kicking in. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. The the Zoloft wasn't doing enough, no, so just, he had to, just chasing the Zoloft. He had to resort to his own measures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Um, but uh, for the next track we got for you guys, uh, this is a track called Among His Tribe. So let's hear some of that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so They're good. just hitting you with like just I don't know. It's just that quiet rock, yeah. you know? You never well, know. Like every quiet, quiet folk rock? Quiet, quiet, quiet folk rock. Well, like every track so far is just such a great rendition of whatever style they're attempting. Yeah. You know? They're trying like there's to not do, really yeah. much of a, a a continuity to the sound in this album. But no. Um, they're taking well, there, like everything doesn't fits have to be with everything them, fits though, them. Yeah, you know? it's like it's got like an ominous psychedelic feel to it. Like, yeah, the, the vibe yeah. just like hits you. Yeah, just they, like they it, keep on like taking turns. Yeah, every track. A, you know, beauty about this band, it's like yeah. you never know what really what you're really gonna hear from them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like every track, I was I was stunned <laughs> again. I was like, wow, they're doing a little like. Simon Garfunkel and Beatles. Left and then a right, right. And another left and back to a right again. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where I am anymore. Are they entering a cheat code by the means? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is Quebec is a cheat code. Um, uh, by the way, if anyone out there knows the meaning, the specific meaning of why it's called Quebec, yes, that's please. something we haven't been able to please. nail down. And I've tried research. to look for it. Yeah, I mean, I know that they're like within driving distance of Quebec. Yeah, but like that's that's tenuous at best. <laughs> you know. Uh, so if anyone's got any fucking deets, uh, uh, one six zero eight hit nerd, it does exist, guys. I promise you, we do have a phone number one six zero eight hit nerd. <laughs> no, we proved that. <laughs> we already found a, us. a scam called us. We proved what, that. What, we that, have a phone number. That nice lady that called last the other week. Yeah, no, <laughs> nice insurance. The nice lady that talked about like know. our insurance I'm that we don't not, have. I'm still not completely sold that it's a scam. You know what I mean? Oh, she was man. so nice. And then maybe the they scam got company Quebec? called us. Trying we to have like, a real oh, I number. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have to you have to go back and listen to that that episode to get the context. Um, this. Uh, oh, this. Oh, that's right. This is the one about uh, salting preserving and food. preserving meat. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's well, and from the perspective of a uh, uh, a Native American, um, you know, tribes person. So. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just a little spiritual number. Definitely, a, a village hunting and learning how to do a really food and yeah, really necessary it. survival thing. You know, it's a very simple and cool idea for a song. Oh my god, yeah, like, personal survival. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Again. mean, this is more if you have like a, a, a well, you need a tribe, I think, for this thing to <laughs> kind of work out because you need a couple more people to to lean on. But yeah, th- if you follow the directions of this song <laughs> and heed the word of the master's tongue, it takes a village to raise me. <laughs> you will uh, be you able will... to preserve yeah. your meats if you mm-hmm. are out in the mm-hmm. wild. Mm-hmm. And thank Ween. Yep, there you go. Thank, thank Ween, Ween for it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Who says Ween? Can't learn anything while listening to, to, to Ween songs. There you go. That's how you do it. Goddamn right. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to read the the quote from from Gene Ween because it's just what we were talking about. <laughs> um, Isn't that great when a plan comes together. Yeah, man. He he know he knows he knows what it's about. Oh look, and oh, this is the one that I I made a comment. Oh, on. fly over State Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's like, honestly, the members of on <laughs> Ween are geniuses, and I meant I said geniuses. <laughs> hey, get yeah. it. I'm gonna I'm gonna thumbs up my own thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, I can't thumbs up my own <laughs> thing. Damn, of course not, genius. Brad. You need someone else right. to thumbs up your thing. No, I respect that. I respect that. Like, I think it's weird that I can thumbs up my own stuff on all the other platforms. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> just make yourself like I do it better. just so it looks like there's more thumbs <laughs> we're up. We're trying like, to get some real content. On yeah, this yeah, website, yeah, Brad, yeah. Exactly. Obviously. Yeah. Um. Let me let me know. Go to the genius uh, among his tribe page and let me know what you think of my my joke. Um, but this next track is, 
this is this is a track that feels more like a joke, more like a more like a humorous, jokey thing that I expect from Ween. Oh, definitely. More. Uh, this is oh. so many people <laughs> in the neighborhood. <laughs> All right, I should you not <laughs> give it a couple of days, and this will slowly just creep into your back of your head for oh. like a week. <laughs> you're walking, you're like, no! I was about to say there was <laughs> there was you're just humming. You're like you yeah. have no idea why you'll be just so shopping, you'll be driving, and it'll just creep out. Oh my! Like, it just yeah, for years and years. Bum, 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 bum. Every now and then, and I'm like. It'll just, I'll be walking. Oh, man, <laughs> okay, okay. So wait, when was the first time you heard this album? 2003. Oh, you heard it when it came out? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Hey. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Because, like, I... Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Nick picked up right away. I remember, like, what yeah. the hell is this? Because like, I think, he, I know he already had Chocolate and Cheese. He had a few other albums. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, what is this? And every time, like, I remember, I think I ripped or made up some copies yeah, early on. Yeah. Like, I want to, like... Before I pick a few up, I want to like really kind of see if I get into this. Like, was the, was this your uh, introduction to Ween? This was then? not. I think or... it was it was either chocolate or cheese or the mollusk was the first one. Okay, heard. okay, and then this is one of the ones like, that you top, heard, like the first probably five albums. Yeah, was... yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, this one is just yeah, it is immediately lodged. Oh yeah, it gets <laughs> stuck and it it's like, like oh man, you people in the It's like you took your car to get fixed and they left like a wrench or something, and then you're driving also like a week later, you start hearing a rap like, what is that? <laughs> That's the song. Like a week later, you're like, uh huh, uh huh. Why am I humming this? Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do I? Yeah, it just gets where, where stuck and it starts wiggling, and then like it all just uh -huh. starts coming loose, and uh -huh. you just start humming and singing like, why? The <laughs> yeah, heck? that's one thing you mentioned in the interview that I read. Um, there was like an AP interview. Um. Uh, uh. Wait. No. It was. Is that the onions thing? What are AV they Club. AV Club. That's right. Yeah. It was AV Club. Right. I like when this the is AV coming Club. out. And uh, he was talking about one of the Weens was talking about how uh he he doesn't necessarily like show his kids like all the music and he's not really like you know trying to inundate them with all that but like his daughter was going around like singing so many people in the neighborhood like around <laughs> the awesome. house and stuff and he like felt like very weird about it <laughs> uh but like you know it's like it's it, it, it's it, uh they, they were also talking about how like some of this stuff is like uh uh perfect for kids as well a few of their tracks are like like definitely like they like might be giants yeah they might be giants yeah do, i yeah. mean they did some tours where it's just like bring your kids it's kids friendly and like they just try to do kids shows and yeah, some tours. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i mean we could do that because they have yeah, enough catalog but... to I don't think that no. I don't think people want their kids around Ween's fans. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm saying that they have enough weird fun yeah, yeah, songs yeah. you can Sorry, easily we're, make we're that a bit album weird. or I something. Could, like. I could, uh huh. I could... uh -huh. Yeah, like like the one like the one story I was reading about the how like they joked about huffing this one substance, and apparently fans were coming to the shows and huffing the substance. Oh yeah, that was during the, the pod during album the, work, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So like. <laughs> Just fucking the worst. Like, I mean, oh cause, shit. Cause People so, took this seriously. I remember seeing them at, I think it was the Orpheum a long time ago. And yeah. like, like at 30 seconds of the show, all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's a very strong weed smell in this uh -huh, entire uh -huh. building. <laughs> yeah. There's certain bands where. <laughs> like, all where, of a sudden, like, oh, that happened. Yeah. There's certain bands where that is almost guaranteed. Oh, yeah. No matter, no matter the venue. No matter. Uh, mostly just because the fans of the band know. That since there are so many of them doing it, there's no way they can stop them all. <laughs> so they're all in a way safe from security. Strength in numbers. Yeah, Strength yeah, yeah. in numbers, that's, man. That's, Let's go. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how stoners do, you know. It literally, I looked at Nick. I think we're the only two right now that are not smoking this entire. Thing. <laughs> that was Where like... is it? Oh, man, I, I, uh, uh, yeah. There was there was a there was one of the bigger venues in Madison that happened. At. I can't remember the the band though. Uh, but yeah, just the entire room, oh, yeah. just cloud. But yeah, yeah, love so it when that show happens. In the haze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I mean, it's music, music, and you know, they they have a long history. 
together music and and weed. <laughs> so, the devil's uh, lettuce. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people are at that point. They're just having fun. They're they're not yeah. gonna get a yeah. Yeah, no one, no one's, yeah, br- no yeah. one's bringing speed or anything, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that, so, was, like, that, wow, was, that was that was that was good stuff. Two, three We're tracks ago. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they uh, the, the, that that significantly decreased after like the eighties. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Bill Hicks had a bit like, would you rather be surrounded by a couple guys that are just high or a bunch of guys who are drinking? Like, obviously, it's gonna be high because you're gonna argue. Like, hey, you. Like, yeah. what? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, and like yeah, just yeah. walk away. Like, what? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Bunch of drunk dudes are just break everything. Be like, one hundred percent. I agree with that. Well, because, like, if you're not drunk and someone, like, say your roommate comes home and they're wasted, you're just like, oh, just calm Stop. down. Like, just Stop, just chill out. You don't need to be like this. But they're drunk. They don't care. <laughs> you know? No, you want to scrap? I'll have scrap. <laughs> but if they come home high, they're just going to put a frozen pizza in the oven and forget to turn it on and fall asleep. Like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe watch a, watch, watch a movie and fall asleep or with you. try to make a pipe out of an apple and forget they're doing it halfway yeah, exactly. through. Exactly. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> what did I grab this? Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. Uh, I got yeah. them. Ugh. I'm all of a sudden hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just comical at that point. Yeah, yeah. It's just tried and true. You know what I mean? Like this track. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Life, rise, my dog. You've been awake too long. Let me rest in time while I blow your mind. This one is unique because it almost, yeah. if you if you listen to this and then go back to Among His Tribe, it almost has the similar. Okay. Like guitar vibe oh, to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Because, yeah, 4 was the one that had the kind of uh, Beatles or, or well, more like George Harrison, I guess, and Simon Garfunkel kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this has got some of the, what is that? Uh, are, do you think there's actually a uh, sitar in there? Or are they, they're they doing fancy guitar stuff. Might be. No, or I know I, like I know, the, I know. Gene has, has uh, a mandolin. Okay. Because he, he has uh, played it. If you've ever uh, done Ween Live in Chicago uh, oh, for yeah. Ocean Man, he plays a mandolin oh, for that cool. entire song. It's cool, amazing. Cool. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe he. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. With, with it's probably it's probably a guitar effect. I would guess. Because um, like if it was a, I feel like if it was a sitar, they would do a lot more with it. Oh yeah, you would you have know? heard it throughout this entire. Yeah, album, you would you'd have heard like it would have been more George Harrison-y. Than, than it is, and this is. Oh, you know. he could be using a steel guitar, I believe. A steel oh, guitar a steel also guitar. has true. that type of like, uh, when you strum yeah. it, it has yeah, that yeah, that, that, that throaty uh-huh. kind yeah. of like uh-huh. guitar. Though, exactly. You know? That's true. Yeah, yeah. They probably have a whole plethora of of weird. You know, that's, that's why I, I, I love a couple uh, of like old yeah. Arsenal, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One thing I was wondering about this track is whether or not his voice was lower. Than no. natural. I believe but, this no, is, no. He does that same stuff in I'm Ocean Man. I'd like to believe that you know? this is his real voice because <laughs> live it was very close to this. And I was like, I've I've always thought when it gets to this voice that it's a like filter that they put on. Nah, I like in like, rap music. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you know? like use uh, yeah, auto tune your fucking voice. Or yeah, something. but I but Dean Ween does the deeper vocals. Yeah, because he's got a deeper voice yeah. than Aaron Freeman, which is Gene. It sounds so like otherworldly, you know. <laughs> like it doesn't sound like real, but I mean, maybe it is. Maybe that's just how his voice sounds. But it just sounds like I don't know. There's some kind of filter they're putting on that just making it like just so uh, hypnotic, you know? Okay. Yeah. 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 Something about that voice, man. I can't, can't pin it's it down. Eerie. It's eerie. Ooh. Eerie. Just shakes you to the core. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't sleep at night when I think about Brad, Gene Wee's voice. Off. Just being like, oh, forget I gotta, about. I gotta it. take another Zola. Forget about Brad. <laughs> I need more of those birds in my life. <laughs> um, but uh, I know verse two is pretty yeah, nice what too. What is this one about anyway? I haven't really thought about it. You know what? Okay, hold on. I gotta. I gotta stop. For a second, and point out some one of these contributor contributors to the Gene Ween, uh, uh, or no, the the this album we're talking about. I've been noticing on every track on Genius, one guy, this guy Van Gluss, motherfucker, 
He keeps on using the wrong number at some point in his <laughs> no, comment. No way. Like on a different track, he said, it's the eighth track off of Ween's eighth album, and it was track seven. I was like, this is, it says track seven <laughs> on Genius. And now I'm like, I'm getting it. He's fucking with me. Like, no, he's probably. He's fucking with me and everyone else. Looking at this genius page. This is so, genius. You got me, oh, Van, Van Gluss, You got me. The ultimate troll. I thought you were you you were for real. Uh, and uh, yeah, I do. There is a comment of mine on one of these. I think it's the eighth one. I'm like, this is track seven. Brent, will this be compared to say you're if you're doing a concept album podcast and you keep playing clips, but you keep playing the same clip for every song? Would that be that caliber? We only I did don't that know once. What okay. you're talking about? <laughs> We don't trick people on this podcast. Well, yeah, we don't do that. We would never do that. We don't such do a that, thing. Dave. You guys are not into shenanigans. Why would yeah. we why would we ever do that to our good <laughs> co co like co conspirators? We definitely on won't the pod. do it to a co host in the near future. <laughs> uh but this next track we have for you guys is uh we'll we'll uh we'll listen to this, we'll listen to two more tracks and then we'll go on a break. Um, but yeah, this next track is uh, in a similar vein as the Zoloft track. This is Happy Colored Marbles. Uh-huh. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm the boys and nut. <laughs> he just stops. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one, uh, I was really taken aback by that. What came in? Like, it's yeah. just, it's very cinematic, you know? It's like a picture being drawn at you right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. This is a really, really uh, well produced track i love everything that's happening oh here. definitely there's the 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 piece. i love the meaning behind happy colored marbles oh yes i like oh, yeah would you like you want to get you want to expound uh for me personally for the 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 happy colored marble song it's more of a emphasize of like um you're putting who you are away yeah. when he states i put the the marbles back in the my jacket's lover or my lover's jacket yeah when he says that like you're like hiding yourself when you're in like uh -huh. a toxic relationship. That's oh. why I like it so much. Oh, I yeah. see. So you think maybe the marbles are like not Zoloft, but like harder things? Yeah, like maybe? it's a more of a self like harder pharmaceuticals. I mean, because <laughs> I think at this point, self -hate. I think this at this yeah. point they're mostly doing doing uh, uh, pharmaceuticals. Oh yeah, we're just according uh, to the going to Walgreens sources. for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe he is. Yeah, he's he's talking about a, a problem that he's kind of hiding. Like exactly. That. I never so thought about like, it that way. For me, I totally can relate to that. Yeah. That's why I yeah. enjoy that song as well. Yeah, taking maybe taking some ownership over that. Yeah. You know. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh. And you know, I, I, I like the Zoloft thing. Like a great, you know, way to uh, uh not personify. What's the word? Um. To you know, to to discuss, uh, uh, you know, happy drugs. Yeah. yeah. Like I mean, the two thousands, the nineties and two thousands were like full of a lot of antidepressants and uh, ads. Ads and, everywhere. Yeah, ads. yeah, yeah. It was. It was. A, it was a lot. It was a lot of them for a while, but it's mostly the same shit that was out then these days. Good over there. <laughs> uh, Down the wrong pipe. Yeah. Oh, I hate uh, that. But, yeah. But, like right um, there, happy colored marbles that are rolling in my head. I put them back in the jacket of the one I love. Yeah. Carry the velvet sack full of pretty colored marbles, and I'll ask you for them back when I'm ready and done. Okay. <laughs> so maybe he's actually, maybe she, maybe she's the one that's like in control of the marbles. You know? Yeah. Like it's, okay, yeah. Is that what you were saying? Then? Yeah, that's okay, what I was okay, saying. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause um yeah yeah it's uh it it's huh it's a weird relationship together right exactly yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, it's real 
It's 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 like if you really dissect it like we are, it's it's you know very you well, know. Well, it's very intertwined, you know, and yeah. those are the realest relationships. Sometimes. And again, you don't really hear it at first. Like, mm-hmm. When yeah. I I had to go through this album maybe three or four times yeah. just to like fully understand every yeah. to- every track down to the core. Look at that we got ourselves yeah. an expert. Over That's good because I mean, like sometimes I listen to it maybe awesome. like two or three times by the time we're doing the podcast, yeah. and like some albums you need to hear like. Five, oh. ten times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or sometimes like a listening to and then shelve it for a few weeks and mm-hmm. then try to go back to it. Yeah. Yeah. And on what it is, like, I don't know. I got to think about this. Well, yeah. I think some of the best music out there, like, takes a different meaning, like, almost every time you pick it up, you know, you get a different thing out of it. Yeah. Or just a different mood. You're also like, holy shit. I've, yeah. All of a sudden, I guess the lyrics are making a whole different, like, sense. Yeah. Like, or you experience something in life that they're talking about in the song. You're like, oh. Yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. now it connects. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Those are, the, those are the best moments in music. Um, but yeah, uh, we have one more track for you guys uh, before we go on to our break. All right, Captain. This is the eighth track of the eighth album of Ween. This is Hey There, Fancy Pants. <laughs> so, hey there, fancy pants. Play the songs that make us dance. Play the tunes that make the ladies sing. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> from lonely hearts, shattered dreams, and broken parts. Feels like sunny days are coming soon. Fancy pants. Is it, is it this track you were talking about being yeah, like a Paul McCartney summer? track? Oh, yeah, this one's very Paul McCartney. I'm getting right underneath the screen. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Dave's beer is going crazy oh, over there. Oh no! I watch oh, out. No. Boom. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Hey guys, we're TikTok. Duh. <laughs> but um, hey there, fancy pants. Hey there, indeed. Uh, I I gotta say. I'm not sure. I, I don't know why this hasn't been in SpongeBob yet. <laughs> right again, <laughs> considering the <laughs> when they actions, yeah, <laughs> get a hold of Ween. <laughs> yeah, like is SpongeBob still going? Yeah, oh, I don't like you know they're, SpongeBob they're still, still going. going. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was. Uh, what's it been like? Fifteen years now? Over fifteen, I feel like. Shit, like, I think what? That's like a long running thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Amazing that they're still going. Yeah, yeah. But um yeah, this is a very uh, another like again, there's not a whole lot of like uh a really like silly songs, like but this one is absolutely one of them. Definitely. This is silly as fuck. It's silly, <laughs> but when you read the lyrics, you're just like, "Okay, okay, now it's yeah. an, okay, so so to me this song kind of like the like how John Lennon wrote, help me. Yeah. Because it's very upbeat and very like, yeah, I need help somebody. me if you can help me if yeah. you can. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it's the same thing with this one where it's like, yeah. hey, they're fancy pants. Like, well, it's, we're going to have a few drinks. It's going to be, but it, yeah. it's, I think he does say, oh, yeah, it's going to be a lonely end. night. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah the right second here. verse. A song for all the lonely hearts, shattered dreams, and broken parts. Yeah. But it's like. Yeah. yeah. Feels like sunny days are coming soon, so it tries to kind of end on a happy note, but yeah. like it's the second verse is very, very uh like if you were yeah. uh at a bar in a corner drinking by yeah. yourself, dealing with uh-huh. your uh-huh. feelings, you know, like that's the yeah. feel that yeah. I get from the song. But it's so upbeat where it's like you don't notice it. Like yeah. it, 'cause it's again, it's kind of a funny yeah. song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a few songs, uh they're really, really good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Like um this is, you know, there was that one we're we're doing the three part series of uh, uh, sixty nine love songs by the Magnetic Fields, and yeah. uh, every now and again Ween makes a Magnetic Fields. We did, it, we did our second part this uh, this uh, for Valentine's Day. Oh no! Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, we got part three coming up next year. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah, we're gonna take a quick break though. Um, and oh, then we come weird. back. We have our very first oh. sponsored "What Is Dave Drinking" segment. Don't go away for the album concept hour. Let's go. Hello, everybody. This is Brad, and you're listening to the album concept year. Because some of the shows are really lost. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody, to What is Dave Drinking, uh, sponsored this week by uh, the Delta Beer Lab from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, we have Hells yeah. this Represent. is our first officially sponsored What is Dave Drinking segment. They gave us some uh, some beers to sip on tonight, and uh, I'm really, really excited uh, to talk about them. Uh, thank you, Will, again, for uh, this, this uh, 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 sponsoring the segment. And uh, yeah, go this, local. This local. Yeah, drink, drink local. We got we got some local listeners. Go check out the uh, the the Delta Beer Labs. Uh, if you're from the, Wisconsin, if you're you like from, if you're from around here, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 you're you're gonna enjoy uh, what they have to offer. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like early Ale Asylum, maybe. Yeah. Uh, when I walked into the store, they have a nice <laughs> they have a nice location. Yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe even late Ale Asylum. I don't know. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really, really excited to to have them uh, sponsoring the segment. Uh, we'll go around the horn like we always do and uh, find out what everyone has been drinking tonight. Uh, I'll start, and then we'll go around and we'll end with with Dave. Uh, as far as uh, the the uh, Delta Beer Labs, I'll start with those because that's what I started drinking with. Uh, there was the uh, GLD O one. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. Golden Ale, uh, which is just you know, it's got like a, a GLD kind of like a. a, 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 a You're supposed to assume it's it golden. Called? It's like an the, element. Uh, it's like One the, the element. The element table. table. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The, periodic the, table. the periodic table of beer. Boom. And um, the other one we have here is uh, the Scotch Ale uh, SCO one, and uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I think probably like the Scotch Ale of the two more, just because I'm like I like the darker stuff. But I really, really enjoyed the Golden Ale. That was um, a good beer. I'm mm-hmm. also uh, I'll I'll let you guys <laughs> mention this one, um, but uh, Dave did just pass me. You know, I'll let you Dave talk about this one, Dave. I'm just gonna stop talking, and pass <laughs> it on to the Swill Corner. This is the Swill yes, Corner with is, John. This is the <laughs> Swill Corner, and I am drinking my Mister Boston's. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, a Sprite tonight. Hey, nice, nice. Yeah, fancy pants. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Fancy pants. Exactly. But I'm drinking it in my Dickies cup, you know. Yes. So yes. I'm going full bore on the uh, yeah. the the swill tonight. Yeah. 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 Full so, hog. Full. Yes. That yes. was the swill corner. <laughs> what about you, Edgar? Corner. What are you drinking? Oh, I had a f- uh, few bush lights before I started cracking open some Guinness. Uh, dropped. So, mm. Very good. Oh my god. I love Guinness. It's been so long since I've had Guinness. This is such a like a different it's such an Irish beer. It's such so a different thick. feeling so beer. Thick. Yeah. So thick. Also yeah. drinks so easy. Yeah. Too easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's I, I like it a lot more than I, I, I so I stopped drinking Guinness for a minute because like I I went to Ireland, had Guinness there, loved it, and then came back and tried to kind of replicate that experience but couldn't couldn't do it. But yeah. This is not bad. Well it's, yeah, it's not I, Ireland, you, you know. I think I'm get... ready for it now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's good to take a break. You yeah, know, take a break from time to time. Yeah, get yeah. back at it out of nowhere. Well, it's like yeah. I was, you know, it's never going to be as good as right from the tap. And oh, Ireland, definitely. You know I mean? mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. That's why you go to Ireland. That's why you visit the places of your favorite drinks. Sometimes, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I wish to drink <laughs> more. Honestly, I was, I was, uh, I was at that point in my life where I was not trying to get drunk or anything. I, I was like, kind of. Enjoying a pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did enjoy a pint or two. I probably got a little. Oh, little, I little feel like you would have. You would have fit I right in. They would have. They would have been like, "You're a fellow Irishman." They, well, that's the, that was the best thing about it. Is like everyone treated everyone like family. Oh yeah, it was very. Uh, yeah, I loved the loved the culture. Um, Le Baron, what's that? Scottish or Irish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they know. They they know that I'm a, I'm well, you know, a that's, dirty that's, Frenchy. You know what, what's 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 cool is that that's about a lot of European culture. You know, like families, like families, well, pretty yeah, they, important. You well, know, they have like, such a rich or like and, and that kind of shit. like yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Something we don't really really have so much here. Uh, well, not, we not we have as, a we have much, more of a bonding much. culture. Yeah, than yeah, than they bond. do. They they had a straight like British or British or French or French or Italian or Italian. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we we had to we we have a more um. Well, yeah, we kind of have like, we got we got, we got the Midwest. You know? We got 
We got you know we got we got a certain like factions of, of oh, uh, well yeah every yeah. every yeah. every culture has yeah. come over here at some point yeah. you it's know? not really we, state by state we though. really yeah. are a a big melting pot yeah you know? yeah if you are a a, a a a European listener tell us your perspective on what we're talking about and uh, and the cultures that exist from so far back cheers cheers I'll drink to that cheers, cheers we'll drink to, to that. all the cultures what about you oh yeah uh, cheers and then Dave. What Dave. are you drinking after the, the Dave of the Dave? Dave what, of, is what is Dave, Dave drinking? drinking? Sponsored by Delta Beer Lab. Well, started with the uh, Scotch Ale, and uh, it's a style I don't normally always jump at, but goddamn, it was a pretty solid Scotch Ale. Yeah, nice. yeah. Um, I have had some of the Delta Beer before the uh, I will say the the how was it the Szechuan Hellas was okay. really really good. Okay, okay. And their barley wines are fantastic. I, I think I brought. At least one on here before. Yeah, I'm probably, not sure, but probably. I know I had at least one. Mm-hmm. But no, yeah, the Scotch Ale. It might be a repeat. I'm definitely will probably pick up a four pack. This was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed the Scotch Ale. Um, it doesn't like it doesn't like smack you in the face. No, you know, sometimes just, Scotch Ales can it really was perfect. like perfect. It was malty. Yeah. It was nice, easy drinking. It was exactly what I wanted when I sat down. Yeah. And we started at this. Unlike this other beer. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to this one. So, okay. okay. <laughs> the one I gave you yeah, was yeah. the Revolution, yeah, Revolution uh, Super Massive Cafe, Cafe Death. Death. Yeah, a yeah, nice yeah. just coffee stout. Imperial stout. Yeah. Pretty good. And this is the new saying, segment. This is called What is Dave Not Drinking? Yeah. The very first time. <laughs> Dave. The very first time we've had a, a, a flub up with the beers. So if you're listening to the le- previous track, yeah, the previous Mr. Track. Fancy Pants, I kind of... I left. I was not yes. feeling so well. He disappeared for a second. <laughs> Cracked a bottle of uh, Wolf's Ridge. This was supposed to be the Dire Wolf uh, Hannes Mexicanus. Oh, it was a Dire Wolf. Right out of the bottle. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, I cracked it, and it was super Balty excited beer. to see me, and it <laughs> shot about a half to a third of the beer all yeah. over me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you were I proceeded to slowly pants. stand up and wiggle my way out of the corner and uh-huh. try to get to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so... Uh, and I was not drinking this disaster. Yes. <laughs> and it was yeah, perhaps something got in the the something bottle along the lines fermenting process. Yeah, maybe actual wolf hair. I don't know. Oh, maybe, man. maybe. Who but, knows? So I will give a shout out to uh, Delta Beer for having a good beer that did not explode. That's and yeah, hey, that's up. You this guys, you guys rock. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good job, guys. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you all for for listening to another edition of What Is Dave Drinking. And uh, this week's so- uh, segment, sponsored, of course, by Delta Beer Lab. Thanks again, Delta Beer Lab, for Thank the you. beers. Thank you. What is All right, and then we have about, uh, what is it, t- 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 seven tracks, I think, left? Yeah, here. let's do it. Um, when we last left our hero, he was Mr. Fancy Pants. Hey there, Fancy Pants. He was real <laughs> excited about this Fancy Pants. <laughs> But he Thanks, takes it down man. a notch here in the next track. This is Captain. Oh, Captain, oh, Captain. You just want to dig right into the sledge oh, of that song. Yeah. Huh? Oof, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one is fucking yeah. <laughs> unexpected. That's, that's a little deep. For Ween. Oh, yeah. The, from one uh, journalist that I at mm. least read on from interviewing yeah. the, the boys yeah. uh, in this uh, their, uh, track, mm-hmm. the song gets to the portrayals of addiction is from what the the journalist talked about because- okay. It goes from "Hey there, fancy pants" a beat just straight back yeah. into again a harder, yeah, slower, almost like the second time they've like, done this. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and it's yeah. like you know, like I get it. Yeah, there's always times in your life where you're just feeling happy and you're glad and you're yeah. living a good time, and then yeah. all of a sudden reality hits. Man, get Boom. beer in your pants. Right yeah, you get beer, <laughs> beer in the pants right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good example. And then you're the captain alone on on a. Ship. Alone, my sadness. Yeah, yeah. Just like, you just want to go home. You just don't know yeah. what to do. 
Yeah, and I love that he's uh, repeating over and over again, Captain, turn around and take me home. Like Right, and I feel like also with this song, probably should have been on the mollusk. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like this song yeah. all would yeah. also fit in that, uh, I think they just, that album. They just love ocean things i think i think oh that yeah like, i mean if you they live pretty close yeah so. yeah like they they're like ocean dudes they're ocean men they're pirates probably back in their uh <laughs> their, in the in the time before they live now yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah the past they, they were in the past life they were pirates yeah. yes yes i agree um but this one um i will say gave me kind of a post hardcore vibe um which is like you know late uh 2000s uh stuff where it was like after some of the emo stuff and people wanted a little more of a serious kind of tone. Um, but yeah, yeah, it, it has a lot of the spacey guitars Yes, with uh, almost incomprehensible vocals. That's very, very post-hardcore <laughs> right there. Yeah. Um, and uh, very, very, I'm here for very it. Hardcore. Oh, I'm, yeah, definitely. I'm here for it. I, I love me some post-hardcore. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That, uh, that's why this one's, that's probably why this one seems so like different or unexpected for Ween, because, like, I, you know, first of all, it's 2003, um, so it's a little before some of the, you know, best post-hardcore, and, uh, like, yeah. We weren't, we weren't listening to this in 2003. Yeah. Thing, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. it, it, it took us a minute. Oh, it's I know, I was still some, probably listening uh, to, like, Wu-Tang and 50 you know? Cent when I was in 2003, for sure. And mm-hmm. I, honestly, I doubt the post-hardcore kids were listening to Ween. If I'm, oh, being, definitely. if I'm being honest, I don't think <laughs> oh, Absolutely. You're not hardcore. It's like eight or twelve. But you know, you know, yeah, you know, know like maybe. like post war was like like we you know what I mean? Like the Cold War kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, the Cold War kids would probably yeah. be into that. Yeah, yeah. Probably the the uh the guys we listened to last week, uh 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 uh, uh p- 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 something about Moscow, closure in Moscow. Yes. <laughs> um they definitely th- they <clears throat> probably like listen to a lot of Ween. Oh, definitely. The guys we listened to last week. Also, uh, to make a fun fact about this, yeah, this is the second time I've probably seen and heard them state uh, a Spanish lyric for uh on this oh, one yeah. and condense this fog into nada. Nada means like you know nothing in Spanish. Yeah. And then in uh, I think in Happy Colored Marbles when he's talking about all the people are sleeping and taking a siesta. Yeah. Another Spanish word. That's it's true. interesting that they yeah. just throw that in there from time to time kind of like beck beck yeah. does that too which i wonder if that's a california kind of thing because like they do um, that a chocolate cheese at least once or twice i think too <laughs> but what? they're they're oh, yeah they're pittsburgh boys but don't Pen- they pennsylvania of... at least oh that's right yeah. that's right that's wrong i was thinking wrong coast wrong coast yeah yeah they're, yeah, on the yeah, East yeah. Coast. they're no coast <laughs> yeah <laughs> they do seem like they would fit no though coast. with yeah. the like <laughs> la scene oh definitely yeah 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 they almost seem out of place in new jersey <laughs> Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pits- well, well, yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh. Sorry, sorry, Pittsburgh. They recorded uh, this all in those New states, Jersey. All those states are the all same. They, they recorded in New Jersey, though. Yeah, they, they did record it in they New Jersey. They got that shore vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell that they there's... have, like, almost, like, at least when they were younger, they had that, like, uh, they the wannabe uh, surfer haircuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, offense, <laughs> no offense to them, but. Well, yeah, I mean, they had they looked very 90s. Yeah. I think. 100%. Big baggy clothes, clothes every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> weird, weird time for fashion. In the 90s. <laughs> we have no, we we can't really uh, explain yeah, ourselves. We tried, Brad. I know, I know. I'm but sorry. It's okay. Look, I mean, I was on the tail end of that too. You know, I, I definitely took some of that with me. Um, but yeah, yeah, great, great track though. Uh, Good one. Goes goes up with all some of my be- favorite uh, uh, post hardcore stuff. This uh, next track we have for you is Chocolate Town. Chocolate Town. Mm, so sweet. A new breath I feel the grip releasing. Scraping my guts off of the ceiling. Nice. All right, for this one, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna actually uh, read the the genius note. Um, this is from. That fool that plays it cool. Uh, Chocolate Town is an autobiographical account by some band member Mean Ween, a sometime band member Mean Ween. It was written after he was detained by police for trying to buy drugs, though originally it was said to be about buying the drugs in Trenton, New Jersey, 
Gene Ween later said the song was about Hershey, Pennsylvania, hence the title. Nice. Yeah. So, do you know anything about this Mean Ween? This is the first I'm hearing. No, mean the same here. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 for, for me, the, the Chocolate Town track was mostly, uh, the understatement of like, uh, or not understatement, more of a standing of like, you're still doing your drugs right as a, as a kid. Yeah. But you know, cause he brings his mother into it yeah. and he says, yeah. you couldn't tell one from another. Yeah. I couldn't hide a secret from my mother. Yeah. So it's like, you know, like you're a young kid trying to do drugs, but you really mm-hmm. can't hide it from your mom, but she's mm-hmm. worried about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I didn't. I never knew that there was a mean ween. Eventually, they probably had him. I'm think. Well, I mean, <laughs> when, when I read it, I mean, it, it reads like it's just a persona that they blame like bad stuff on. You know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I mean, judging by their sense of humor, I'm sure that mean ween is just one of them. Just, yeah. Mm, like they did. They they just put them in a different category altogether. <laughs> Um, yeah. But this is the first I'm hearing of it. I wonder if it comes up more in their other discussions of their music because mm. uh, oh, it's so casually dropped in that <laughs> in that note, like Mean Ween is a thing or something, right? You know, um, it's correlated to the what's it, the Booganish? Oh, the was that the one of their logo, early the early face? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe that's yeah. more, maybe Mean maybe. Ween is when they're like possessed by that uh, 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 demon creature. <laughs> Whatever, I have no <laughs> idea. They drew that. That yeah. was their that was their drawing that they had yeah. when, since they were a kid. I, I believe. was trying to find. It. I have a glass, but it was it. it's was from an actual it. demon, though, right? That's what I mean. That's what one of the documentaries said. It was like it was. Oh, okay, yeah, it was supposed yeah. to be oh, some yeah. demon, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. It's honestly. just like a different persona. It's, it's a different persona <laughs> they both take on, like Bruce Wayne's Batman. So they they yeah, both yeah. take the mantle of mean ween from it's time like, to time. It's, <laughs> like, you know, it's, like, it's like, like Zero in Smashing Pumpkins. Ah, you know, like yeah. he's got mm-hmm. his his other persona, Zero, oh, yeah. that's uh, a little edgier. The Rat in the Cage video, I think he's got his Zero in that one. Yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Every now and again he dips into that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this this is I think you you kind of said it best. It's like it's him kind of it's a song about just uh uh just kind of facing the lifestyle that he's chosen exactly uh, and mm-hmm. you know what that means to his mother. Right. Which is it's sweet. It's it's sweet that he's bringing that it is up. That's sweet. It's sweet and it's also like him noticing that yeah, I know that it's something I shouldn't do. I know I, it's weird. A lot of people I know it's weird, relate, but it's you know like I, mean? I like I'm going to do it, but like at the same time, still going to watch out for myself. Exactly. Kind of what he's saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Watching for himself, mm-hmm. watching for the fact that mm-hmm. like he doesn't We're want to be still going to watch out for, for who him. like took care of him. We all like our mothers, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Exactly. We don't, we don't want our moms to be sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Um, but uh, speaking of not wanting uh, something to be sad, this next track is called I Don't Want It. And it is sad. Mm hmm. So beautiful. Ah, fuck, dude. Favorite trick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is like, this hits you right in the feels in a way mm-hmm. that no ween track has hit me in the feels. Yeah, right. Like, like, it's... There's no irony to it, you know? Like... I feel a lot of uh, the Wall album out of that mm-hmm, one. Uh-huh. Out of this one track yeah, specifically, yeah. I feel the how Roger Waters was feeling throughout his, uh-huh. like, entire... Throughout right. the entire album. Yeah. Like that's this track just one one whole fucking verse one and done one yeah. and done you yeah, know yeah, what I yeah. mean like it like it explains how a lot of people in general have felt throughout yeah relationships life yeah yeah etc well because yeah it's a very simple notion because like you know obviously we know from context he's going through a divorce and it's just the simple like thing here I understand it but I don't want it. Exactly. It's like, it says everything. Right off the bat, right you know, there. Because um, that's, you know, that's what the, the hardest breakups feel like, you know, uh, uh, or at least if you're an adult and you're treating it like an adult, um, it's, it's, um, 
yeah it, it even when it's mutual it's it feels bad exactly <laughs> yeah 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 and a lot of people can relate we all go through uh-huh. it yeah and none of us want it nobody wants to yeah. feel like that it's oh. it's a it's a terrible feeling yeah and and that's really the is. beauty about the fact that the reason why i love this band is just they make so so much good music that in the end there are so many tracks out there that you don't fully listen to and then once yeah. you like mm-hmm. go through a hard time you listen through it and you're like oh, yeah man, fuck well this one it, it, you it, know it's so dripping with that right right sadness you know that kind of that kind of happened with me when i like started listening to um the uh <clears throat> um wall the, uh, animals no not um, Pink floyd <laughs> uh Rumors, rumors. No, no, no. We did the we did the album, the, the, uh, the funky double one? album, the double album. Tommy, no, um, uh, uh, um, the the wa- the last waltz, Quadrophenia, Quadrophenia. Um, wow. I am uh, just, I am there, just there, like dropping the right. ball. There's yep, got to be one yep, more double on, album. Johnny. No, no, no. There, there is, there uh, is. Um, what from is the, the wall, 90s, of course, but you already mentioned from the wall. the 90s, the mid 90s. Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins. That's the other one, yes. Melancholy and uh, the Infinite Sadness. Uh, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah, yeah, check yeah. that up. I too. like, I like really like, when I started listening to that, Speaking like, I hardcore. really like, one I really guys, like, your guest is went up. with it and like, I really like, like, that that really like changed me as a person. Yeah, right on, yeah, man. yeah. There, there's like, a, there's a couple of tracks that are really raw like yeah. that. Yeah, and that yeah. and it's my favorite. And thing. a lot of that like really just like really just like felt that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I, and I just I, but I also like knew what I had to do. And right. It was, yeah. You know. It was, mm-hmm. it, was, mm-hmm. it was it was good motivation. Definitely. Yeah. Sometimes music it it, it mm-hmm. you know especially when you're going through hard times like you know the music that you're mm-hmm. listening to during those hard times really uh um you know can make a difference mm-hmm. you know sometimes sometimes in a bad way sometimes sometimes you like there's a song that like haunts you, you know? oh definitely oh, right yeah 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 i think a song no that could be that song is if you say never had mm-hmm. any sort of like hardship or relationship problems like yeah you heard this oh that's uh, you know it's a down song then you experience this and you hit like you go back and you hear this and you're like line by line you can just read this and be like yeah uh-huh have the oh, feels oh, like I, yeah. i'd lie in your arms if i could now such a common pain like you said right. uh-huh. like every mm-hmm. every line mm-hmm. is just hidden yeah. like so deep like yeah yeah and it takes on a different meaning like now yeah this song is like yeah <laughs> like, it's, it just it's so, brings so, it all together so right personal there. you oh, know definitely yeah yeah um yeah fucking fucking love this track Mm -hmm. um i but again i feel like a lot of people when they've probably listened through it they didn't know about it at all a lot because i don't think they even like aired any of the whole like gene ween and his wife divorce yeah yeah, you know how most most people like entertaining (laughs) ear or well mtv or some like those like uh tv shows that like like Focus mm-hmm. on celebrities and shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. like that. You know, like yeah. that. I don't think breaking they're... news. <laughs> no, I mean they were just lucky enough because like, <laughs> exactly. stuff under, like no one like was reporting it. it was yeah. right. No, absolutely. Which makes it easier. I, I'm I'm sure for them because like oh, oh like get the my fuck. God, like, I don't want no one around me. I wouldn't want to be a famous. Person. I just I got shit yeah. like everyone else does. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're not going around like every courthouse, like interviewing like people that got divorced. Like, right. what are you doing right now? I'm like, what the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah. Get away it's, from it me. is this like weird. Do you still have the house? <laughs> it is this like weird kind of thing we have in this internet age, where like we have all that information at our fingertips. Right. Off oh no, absolutely. Whatever is available, you know. Yep. Um Because oh, yeah, if we, we did we this. Type it in right who's away. Married? Who's divorced? Yeah. Who's dating? Who's cheating? What the fuck? Well, like, yeah, give it, a fuck? If we were like covering this Man, album back in like 2005, we wouldn't have that context you know oh yeah 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 we would just be like oh i wonder what uh what what's going on with gene this it sounds very still sad. different from the last couple yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um and i'm sure there was speculation from all the fans and stuff oh definitely but, um, right but yeah yeah i had my speculations about bands i was obsessed with you know uh, uh <laughs> like for instance, I know way too much about Marky Hladish, former guest on this podcast, <laughs> which I'm not willing to have a conversation about. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah you, well, you absolutely. when you love a band, though, yeah, you 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 like try to to figure this stuff out, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, this one definitely uh, of all of the tracks, this really 
uh, encapsulates, I think, his feelings on uh, his his, his uh, divorce and his life recent going on, life yeah. situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it just uh, if you if you hear this in the right mood, you're gonna fucking cry your eyes out. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, no, I yeah. have. Yeah, no, I yeah. Have. No. I, it's it's probably in my future at some point. Now that I know about it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but they fall. <laughs> They follow this one up. In, in right, typical, this is what I'm saying, right? <laughs> in typical Ween fashion, they follow this very, very sweet, very, very uh, uh, personal song with The Fucked Jam. The Fucked Jam. Here's the Fucked Jam. That's the shortest gap that I could pick, by the way, (laughs) in the in this song. They do this like just to prove that there was nothing in there at some point. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. It wasn't all just bits and. (laughs) It's a very gorillas uh, uh, choice. This song. Mm. This is this would fit right in the middle of any gorillas album. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, they probably heard some gorillas at this point because gorillas was th- like 2001, I think, was their big debut. Um, the first one, yeah, yeah. Probably. So this is like in line with like first gorillas album, maybe. Um, and I can see these guys being uh, fans of that. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. being yeah. fans of gorillas. And yeah, then... this weird fucking concept that, that <laughs> of animated a, uh, yeah. A band. band. Yeah, which which especially in the beginning, you just didn't even know anything about. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, I love how they never explain. They just like just yeah. full throttle right here. We are like, here. Oh, we are here now yeah. as gorillas. This CG band. Did anyone ever see Gremlins two by any chance? I still haven't, but I need so there's to. a spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. There's like a, a, a ends up being a Gremlin that's like pure energy, like electric. Okay, but like there's noises he makes that reminds me of this. Like oh, okay, like, when it's like <laughs> they trap him a phone. All of a sudden he's like. Bah! They put him on hold, and he, he's uh-huh. just trapping like the security, like in the phone system. Yeah, yeah. When I yeah. hear that, I just think about that. Just the electric gremlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a really strange sound. It is, and uh, yeah, they something you don't hear on a lot of albums. It's the oh, whole. No. It's the whole <laughs> track. Oh god, no. Yeah, that's the entire. It's an yeah. instrumental track. Yeah. All just uh, their way of uh, pretty much being like. This is what I think hip hop is. They're not dissing hip hop. They're, oh, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're they're just, they're just like showing they're you. They're just showing you their is, point. This is what we got, you know. Yeah, like, I I don't understand, but this is this is the best we can do. Uh, it's got that Korg thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, it works out so yeah. well. Like yeah. you could like, I mean, nailed it. Yeah. Any artist out there, <laughs> trust me. Yeah. You use this beat, it'll. It'll make yeah, some, it'll say, make we some were, beats. Yeah, yeah that's we what we were, were saying before the podcast. Earlier. Like this should totally be no, used dude, dude, as dude. a hip hop like no, totally uh, uh, beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, <sighs> shit. I was gonna say MF Doom, but R.I.P. This would be perfect for MF Doom. Oh, I think. R.I.P. Ah! <laughs> Hands towards the skies. Why? Why God? God? Why um, God? Doomed. Why would you do this to us? Uh, too soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Fun track though. I love, and, and, and again, this is, this is a, this is probably one of the best, uh, uh, consistent motifs they have in this album is having a song with one feeling just completely take a right or left turn into a fucking different thing. Just Spike and Chris just, just it's like a, down. it's like a well-paced movie, you oh, know? It's an emotional right. roller coaster. Yeah. Exactly. Like, like mm-hmm. it keeps, could, because of that <laughs> flow, it keeps you, it keeps you invested. You know, that's uh, why I love this album so yeah. much. It's a good, it's a, it's a good one. It's a good yeah. one. That's yeah. what you know, table. flow that's, is always very important. welcome. Yeah, no, yeah. seriously. Absolutely. Like if you if you listen to yeah. the whole catalog, we prove that flow is very important. Yeah, yes. And, uh, I think, I think we really, do. Uh, I think we that. do prove that a lot. Yes, yes. Is that yes. flow is some very of, some of the time, some of the albums that like don't work don't work because like one track should have been like you know earlier in the album or vice versa. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, this one works fine. I I don't want to make complaints yeah, about the track absolutely. listing here. The perfect the spot for the instrumental. Yeah, the fucked jam. Yeah, and such a great track. Just the, type, the title is so good. <laughs> the fucked jam. Like, <laughs> who would even the put jam that? Jam is definitely not actually fucked, dude. put it on the 
the album, but Ween. Uh, but yeah, this next track is uh, uh, Alkin Road. <clears throat> Yeah. I feel like I was just still going through a fucking tunnel through that song, man. <laughs> right? It reminds right? me of like a, a shoegaze or the problems. Gaze where it's like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Just like, just like four, they're just like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, the last several tracks on here are pretty like long tracks too. Yeah. Oh, Besides yeah. the Fuck's Jam. That one's not very long. Um, but, uh, yeah, Alkin Road is a uh, good, you know, four or five minutes. Yeah. Um, and just yeah, just droning on, kind of. I think getting back to that. But you don't really notice it as, as yeah. like at first, because I know for a fact I didn't notice it for the first like yeah. twice going back through this album. Yeah. Just and then eventually the third round, say, like, oh my god, you know, five minutes or so, like that. Yeah, 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 it definitely goes by. Like you don't, you don't <laughs> like clock that. Like this album doesn't feel like it's fifty-five minutes. No, it feels no. like maybe a forty-five-minute album. You know, because the 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 long tracks don't feel too long. Well, and, and and again, when everything meshes well, you know, you never, you know, you, it never feels like as long as it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I think there's some songs where you, they could be five minutes, but it feels like a long five minutes because how it, it doesn't seem like sometimes like tracks maybe put together, it feels like just this awkward yeah mess with like this track again. I think you said like five. I mean, they, yeah, yeah. They also like doing that too, though. You know. They were they were all about like messing with your brain, you know. <laughs> oh, messing with their own brain. Sure, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like a slow, relaxing drive. You're just like passenger seat, you're just like taking yeah. this whole story yeah, in. You're, you're, yeah, yeah. You don't feel a rush, but also you Definitely. don't feel like it's been five minutes. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you lost time. Like Yeah. Ah. Cause it, yeah, yeah it's like because you kind of get into like this mindset, yeah. like you just kind of like really kind of like not trancing now, but you just kind of like really yeah. taking this all in. It's like, pretty hypnotic, I think. Exactly. Lyrical, kind I of feel like that's it. a good way to describe it, hypnotic, because yeah. it's just like yeah. makes you just like listen to it, but at the yeah. same time, if you're taking a long road trip, yeah, good playlist song right here, at the Alkin Road by Ween. Yeah, speaking of which, um, the uh, uh, this is a road that is. Going up to Alaska, the Alkin Road to wow. Quebec. <laughs> yeah, well, I that Quebec. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's the like closest thing I could come to like yeah. maybe like point, just, but I don't know if it goes through Quebec because like Google Alaska. Map it. I don't know why it would. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. seem like it would need to go through Quebec because Alaska's way over there and yeah. Quebec's on the on the east. <laughs> Well, I don't I mean, know. I guess if you're starting in Pennsylvania and you get maybe, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe, to... maybe, oh. Quebec, maybe Quebec's the first yeah. stop on the way to uh, oh, can... uh, Alcan Road. I don't know. Hey, Gene's road trip. I feel like the, the, in the verse two, when he's like mountain man, forest child, eagles cry, puppets of God, I feel like he's looking at the beauty of what he's like yeah. driving through. Hmm. You think, I mean, it, and it is like the, Polar mm-hmm. opposite, kind of, of what their typical, uh, you know, song makeup is, considering that they're usually beach type songs. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. this is them in like a cold, desolate place. Not, yeah. Not in like a comfortable, like, beachside with, with their. It's not voodoo lady. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not pushing lady. little daisies. It's no, no, no. no. <laughs> no this, is, this is desolate. Yeah. This is desolation. I love that. I love that. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he did go on a like big road trip to Alaska to try to deal with his his feelings. Hey man, and that's what the it's a good time to go fishing in Quebec. Quebec, there, yeah, 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 there. Don't you know? I know it. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, and and call back to the last uh, one of the old, earlier tracks, drifting pools of salt and brine for your meats. You know what I mean? There you brine. go. <laughs> salt and brine your meats. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, great, great track, though, um, but we, uh, for the next track. You see the comment right there, though? Yeah, it can, uh, yeah, the Alcan Road connects the USA to Canada, and it was built during World War II. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, maybe it starts in New York. Maybe it starts in New York, it goes through Quebec, all the way. All the way to Alaska. All the way to Alaska. 
Who knows? But um, I I definitely should have Google mapped this before the podcast, but I refuse to. <laughs> um, Maybe you and a Greg will take a motorcycle trip through that. Probably. Um. Yeah. Watch uh, uh Obi Wan this fall, <laughs> whenever it comes out. Um, this, uh, next track we have for you guys is, uh, The Argus. The Argus. Which is actually Not funny. That's a local, a bar in that's a local bar too. So, uh, hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is The Argus. I love your capture of that. That that that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say if, if if you enjoyed that, definitely go back listen to this whole, whole song? guitar the whole solo. Song. Yeah, this this guitar solo is ah man, it's one of the most like uh uh, uh emotional uh-huh. like guitar solos. I don't know. There's something about it. Uh, it's almost a little dinosaur junior, a little to me. Um, you know, because he does a lot of really Jay like Maskus, yeah, he is a very yeah. Really, uh, uh, unique style and that tone. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, feels very Blue emotional. Seat. Yeah, yeah. But Bully, doesn't believe really it. like throw it in your face at first. Like you don't yeah. really like you kind of have to like really go through. Yeah, it again a few it, times. it's like a slower build mm-hmm. of a solo. It's not like a, a flashy. Yeah. Guitar solo. Like I don't want it right off the bat. Yeah. Like that was sad. Yeah. You see, like, but believe it or not, like I like I've heard this kind of style like within like um. A Janis Joplin song I've heard about like like the like okay. summer song. Okay. Um it, it's a it's it's actually a classic song and she did it with Big Brother and the Holding Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that album. And yeah. um there's literally this point where it's just like bam 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 and it's just like just it's slows really down. just like a slow down. It's like yeah, you're really just kind of dropping, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's an it's a it, it, this one's like it's it's slower, but it's not like low energy mm-hmm. at all. Oh, you know? definitely, no, no, absolutely, no. yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, uh, it has uh, it, from a complex of lyrical writing, yeah, it stands out a lot. Yeah, if you read through it, definitely does kind of stand out from most rock and roll bands, at least that I feel like. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> And I feel like the Argus in general isn't anybody in, sp- in particular. I think he's using the Argus. Well, I was say there is. I was gonna say the only thing is there's the Argus from Greek mythology, that is like an all-seeing one that um, apparently. Oh, nice! What happened? Uh, uh, that's right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some kerfuffle between the Greek gods, and he was like the first of the new Greek gods to be uh, killed uh, due to some like backstabbing and and stuff. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that do. has to do with the song, but that is the the ar- the the historical <laughs> Argus. The historical side of the Argus. I mean, I guess that we could also. Wait, well, yeah, I guess it right. says here like the ar- uh, uh, let's see. Swirling with visions of on man's confusion. Oh yeah, because that's the, the thing is the Argus can see all. He's like uh, omnipotent. Ah. Yeah, he can see all things. Yeah. Um. But yeah, swirling with visions on man's confusion. All of the work done just to appease him. The Argus he cries. Though love has its place in the sun, it's only man's fear that carries him on. Nice. So yeah, he's. A, I mean, this that's, is another. That's, that's a whole lot of truth, though. I right feel like there. this is another one of those Greek figures, like. Prometheus, that's like uh, 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 kind of a god of the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't know too much about the Argus, though. Be set be beyond my cursory for, on it. But for the person that uh, uh, I think his name is uh, Connor Brown, because this is an article that I read for him from him. Uh, for him, he says that this song sums up every problem. That is going on through Gene's life. Oh, really? Yeah, it okay. it kind of comes all together in all the, the sense fear. with like the fearing of losing his friend uh-huh. and his drummer, and the fear of losing his yeah. wife, and more than likely like his his kids and et cetera. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, that 
I mean, I was like, oh, wow. Was, when I read that, I was like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes a lot of sense. I didn't yeah. know about the Argus uh, as a Greek mythological god. Yeah, for sure. yeah, I didn't yeah. know about that. That's new to, to me, but that, for me, would made a lot of clarity for sure. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that tracks. Uh, this is a very cool, is, yeah, so this has got a, like, I, that's really cool then that he's using these uh greek mythologies to explain his own like situation in this grandiose yeah kind of way is yeah unique for sure which is yeah yeah the complex side of like a lyrics yeah if like if, lyric, yeah lyricist lyricist but yeah gene ween doing Gene-er. some good stuff in this this album man and that that solo is just so melancholy and beautiful yeah. it's yeah it's one of my favorite moments, I think, of a Ween song. I think, honestly, the Argus and don't I don't want it together are both just, you know, gut wrenching tracks. Oh yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, this next track uh, is our last track for this album, uh, Ween Quebec. Uh, this is going to be if you could save yourself, you'd save us all. Oh nope. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, that is. Uh, he's really getting up there with his vocals. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Uh, I was bringing it all together there. Yeah, it's like come. It's like coming to a head. Like all of all the emotions he's kind of like like shown in the, the last several tracks. Like yeah. he's fine. This is like a a big release. Yeah. Again, we started with it's gonna be a long night. It hard yeah. in your face yeah. Yeah. song, upbeat, like you're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Now we've come to the end of a very, very broken man who Yeah. At first I got again, you probably didn't notice it. You know, a lot of people you know and then yeah. this song comes on, you're like, Oh wow, geez. Yeah. That's right. I just emotionally spent it. Right. Like, I feel like Ween fans probably picked up on it. Oh, you know definitely. I, mean? I feel like Ween like, fans were probably like, man, this is like, this is a heavy album. Yeah. You know? Not um, the post-hardcore kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no <laughs> not, not those kids. They don't listen to this. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's 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 probably, you know, a lot heavier than most of the Ween they're used to at that oh, point if they're yeah. big Ween fans and very, so personal. It you know? screams everything out in your face. Yeah, and, yeah. And just the title, it feels so heavy. Yeah, I mean, if you could save yourself, uh-huh. you could save us all. Mike, that's not. I mean, that's not a pressure. Really. That right. is a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's also like so cynical yeah. too. You know, it's it's like, yeah, it, it, it's basically almost saying like, don't even try. You know, don't even try to save yourself. Because if you could save yourself, you'd save everyone. Yep. You know, so just it's not. You know, I know that's not even possible. So it's like he's, it, it's like he's, he's, I don't know, maybe this is the acceptance moment yeah. of uh, the album. Exactly. You like know? he's finally just got it all out there oh, without. Is this, this is about stages of grief that was Ooh. happening in this album? I should maybe, uh, maybe we'll go back and, and cause I, I can't remember the, the, the stages. There's, I know there's denial. Uh, I mean, I always think revenge is part of it, but I know that's not, that can't be right. Yeah. Uh, I know <laughs> acceptance of acceptance is like the last one. Except is you, the last, yeah, I know yeah, yeah. acceptance is the last one. Uh, I don't know where, where revenge is in the <laughs> uh, whole dynamic, but uh, I'm sure it's in there. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, it does, it does seem like a kind of like lethargic, like he's, I think he's sad, but he's also kind of maybe reached a, Peace about it, yeah. Maybe like he's know. he's finally like getting it all out there. Finally, been being like, all right, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Ha- I can't help it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, got to move on uh-huh. with my own life. Yeah, yeah. She's got to move on with hers. Yeah, yeah. So. Exactly. You know, he, he's he he's dealing with his uh uh marriage problems uh in a very healthy way instead of like. On like a national stage or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be really, really embarrassing if you, 
uh, uh, took your marriage issues and put them on a national stage. Well, good thing no one does that, Brad. No one would do that, though. No one would do that in our current climate. No one would ever uh, uh, do something of that nature. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, no, this is this is a uh, uh, great way to to end a very like melancholic ween album like for any other album this wouldn't be that melancholy yeah you know but but because it's ween like it's so melancholy you know oh my god yes yeah yeah like i just feel i just i just want to like hug gene ween right after listening to this album like you, you, know? you can feel the raw pain when he's getting his yeah. vocals up there mm -hmm. of just the yeah feel, I, I feel like he probably even cried at the, probably, when he yeah, sung yeah. all of those. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. he just let it all out at once. There's a lot of long nights oh. with 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 uh, Gene and Dean Ween. Definitely at whatever place they rented out to do this. But um, great album, great album. Um, that's uh, uh, Ween's Quebec. I'm really glad that we have this on our re repertoire now. Uh, but we're gonna we got one more thing that we do before we get out of here. Let's go around the horn and find out what everyone has been listening to. And uh, if they have anything to plug, too, they can plug that. Um, I'll go in the same order as what is Dave drinking, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, as far as uh, what I've been listening to uh, lately, uh, I'm going to say Sparks. Uh, I know I just, I, I haven't listened to the music proper, but I watched the documentary on Sparks, and there's a lot of their songs on that. And uh, I am certain that once I jump into Sparks, I'm going to find some, some gold. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug, uh, on top of that, watch the, the Sparks Brothers documentary. It's on Netflix right now. Um, if you want to really learn about a band that potentially in, you know, inspired uh, bands like Ween, um, you definitely want to check that out. Um, as far as my plugs, I'll say uh, go on over to... I know I sound like a broken record, guys, but we are eight people away from having 100 subscribers on our YouTube at Flyover State Park. And uh, once we do that, we can get our URL, guys. So uh, if you haven't already, please do me a favor. Go on over to Flyover State Park. Be one of those eight uh, subscribers that make it so we don't have the, the dumb URL at the end of our, our page. Do it up. And uh, yeah, if you're a Threedom fan, I have another Threedom clip video thing uh, i remixed a uh, total eclipse of the heart with uh the uh the the freedom gang the, the pretzel gang if you will um they they sang that on their podcast i did a little remix of my own um and uh yeah yeah if you like that kind of stuff I'm, I'm gonna maybe even put out more of that kind of stuff so um yeah uh we'll go to you edgar next since i i'm not sure where john is but <laughs> um gone. edgar what about you what have you been listening to and what do you have to plug honestly yeah, the latest thing i've started to listen to is a band uh called anin may Kenterit carrot i don't know i'm probably butchering the okay. name and okay. giant rooks they did a tom's diner cover tom's diner and honestly the two vocalists are uh, very fucking unique there's one guy that has a very hard but it sounds very soul-like vocals. Uh, and then yes. the other guy is very soft, very mellow, and it just, they, it kind of goes well yeah. together. You know, you got like soft and mellow, then you have like hard soul coming at you. And it, yeah. honestly, I would recommend that. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what I've dabbled on. <laughs> Only because, this is funny, I've heard one specific line from that cover on TikTok, and I just had to look up the actual. Well, link. I mean, and, and honestly, that's what thank you, say. TikTok. That's, that's where all the the music it's is happening in these days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand it, but apparently, it's Axe where dances it, music. What what can what? it do? Yeah, yeah. I want someone on TikTok to dance to our podcast. If oh. you could just do a TikTok dance to us discussing music, that'd be amazing. We could get some some serious oh, play. Yeah, I could dance to What Is Dave Drinking? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw out the What Is Dave Drinking? I mean, I could on, end in the same... We could, we could make that into we'll an intense a what is, thing. A What Is Dave Drinking dance. That's what we need. Oh. What is Dave spilling all over his pants? Uh, yeah, it's just you, <laughs> yeah, it's just you <laughs> spilling beer all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the latest craze. It's a new <laughs> challenge. So look out for that on the Flyover State Park uh, TikTok. There is a Definitely. TikTok, by the way. There is a Flyover State Park TikTok. I never mentioned that because oh. I don't use it much. Uh, but I'm trying to use it more. So if Definitely. you are a TikTok person, I don't know. Go ahead and check it out. Talk that tick. Also, <laughs> 1608 Hit Nerd. I didn't mention that. 1608 Hit Nerd all is, for all is a real needs. phone 
thing that you can do. <laughs> Call in. Um, uh, what about you, John? Though, what have you been listening to, and what do you got to plug? Well, I've been uh, I've been listening to a lot of Ween radio these days. Oh, tight, just, tight. Uh, just to like, kind of prep us for. Yeah, you know, I uh, got to listen to the song um, um, "The End." Uh, you know, like by by Ween, it's it's pretty good. The um, end by Ween. Didn't even know. Uh, didn't even know that like Ted like prepared me for like half of this stuff. You know, that's, that's, that's pretty great. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, good. It, it would be great to have sometimes, him on one sometimes day. Sometimes I miss Falbos, you know. It'd be great to have Ted on one day because mm-hmm. he had a great taste. I would, in music. I would, I would. Yeah. I he was always ahead of the curve. You know what? I will always give him. Is that. he on Twitter? He's always ahead Is he on of Twitter. Or Instagram? I don't know. I'm gonna I check. Do not know. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna be like, hey Ted, <sighs> remember me? I well, delivered you know, for you for a tiny little bit before maybe you left. Maybe on TikTok. I don't know. Who knows? And you love music, and uh, I know you want to talk about it. So, uh, Ted, this is a direct shout out to you. We want to talk to you about music. Otherwise, uh, just listen to some MGMT. Um, it's 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 good stuff. It uh, really really takes you to another space. You know, those guys are pretty cool. Oh, uh, I'm uh, I'm a big fan these days. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really been uh, a lot uh, a cherry cherry pit or what what is what are they called um buck cherry but no I'm a passion no. pit passion pit yeah uh, thank you thank you Dave I don't I'm yeah. sorry I said, the lifeline I uh, apologize for saying buck cherry guys no no I, no it, it it it's okay it's okay I didn't it's not, it's I didn't know where I, I was leading you I mean, he 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 we'll he, he guessed he guessed <laughs> the right he guessed the right uh, yeah yeah but yeah. Cherry two times. I've been I've been listening to a lot of uh, basically <laughs> like mid two thousands like techno pop and it's ooh okay, it's been, okay. It's, been, it's been it's been doing me some good you know mm, uh, like a, techno pop you say it's it's it's, it's good for work you know it's yeah, yeah. it's good mindless music for work is it like thing. Euro pop? I do I know well, like MGMT you know you know me I'm a, I'm always about the pop standards I I, yeah, I yeah. like a lot of MGMT so all about Wait, management what, so I mean not to uh, uh, derail too much, but I, I one cool thing I learned about MGMT MGMT's uh, first album where they got really really popular mm-hmm. is they like that was literally like their they were seeing if they could make hits like they they mm-hmm. like they didn't necessarily play that style of music but they're like I'm pretty sure we can make an album of hits we yeah. just follow this formula mm-hmm. and so they I believe the formula, that they made their hits and they have like a very different discography after that. Uh, so it's a, it's a, I believe that. Yeah, yeah, I it's, a, it's, a, it's a very interesting band's uh, story to follow, though. I, I didn't, I didn't know, but they're mm-hmm. they're pretty talented. Apparently, right. have you ever tried to uh, follow up? Like, can we just write misses? What well, just just misses? Just, right. oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> the first one's all hits. Maybe it's all misses. Now. That's that's a concept. I don't think I don't know if they've attempted. I mean, some yet, bands have but, done uh, it. Some bands have done it <laughs> unintentionally. I don't know if a band has done it intentionally yet, but uh, that would be great if a band made exclusively bad songs on purpose. <laughs> that would be a good concept. Otherwise, someone get, on it, someone get on it. That'd be fun. As an edu- edu- a general education for everybody, everybody should watch uh, Worst Roommate Ever on Netflix. <laughs> Bet. I've heard seriously. I've heard that's things. a general yes. education for everybody. Yeah, yeah. You get all all the kinds. You learn all the signs. Yeah. Good, good, good stuff. Careful good with stuff. the roommates out there, people. Seriously. Careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be safe. It's dangerous out there. What about you, Dave? What have you been listening to? What do you have to plug? So I got hooked onto a band I used to have a long time ago. The band was White Lies. White Lies. I listened to their first album in 09 called To Lose Your Life. Okay. And, or To Lose My Life. And it was, it's fantastic. I, they're considered, what was it? I think it's post punk revival. They're okay. an English Ooh. band. Oh, okay. So okay. they got a really unique sound. Yeah, the yeah. F- a couple years later, in 2011, they had a, uh, another album called The Ritual. Pretty good. At this point, I kind of like, I didn't forget about them, but I had so much stuff. I kept like just yeah. You're you're shooting every direction. You're trying to take as much stuff in. New bands, new bands, and you just kind of some get yeah. like lost along the way. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I picked them up a a, f- a week ago for the, at a friend who threw one of their new songs. I'm like, they have a new song. And I also went, I dug through this last week, and then they have uh, four other albums. One just came out recently, like within oh, this week. Wow! Okay, and I've nice. just been like just binging, looping yeah. these albums like yeah, again yeah. and again and again. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I just can't get enough right now. Like I'm just like feeding off it. Nice. And then yeah. in between yeah. those, uh, been a lot of uh, Melvin's and Fugazi, kind of in okay. between. Okay. Yeah. 
Nice, nice. So that's nice. what I got. Fugazi is one that I really need to, Dude, to dive into. Do yourself a favor, man. Just yeah, yeah. I, I, do it. Uh, there was and the <laughs> there was the Wu Gazi <laughs> that came out. That's probably the most I heard of Fugazi. Honestly, was the Wu Tang Fugazi we'll a, mashup. We'll have a whole um, discussion after we wrap up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, we should talk about those albums. Fuck those fucking <laughs> those mashup albums that are just like uh, Wu Tang and gray some album? other random thing. The Gray Album. There's a lot of good ones uh, on on YouTube. A couple of MF Doom ones, uh, I know, but um, yeah, love, love, love when people do that and do it fucking yeah. well. There are a lot of bad ones. There, there is true. Probably a There's lot of bad ones. The percentage lot. is very high. <laughs> For yeah, bad, yeah. At least. But man, when they're good, they're they're really good. If I could recommend one song, I, yeah. I don't know if any Willie Nelson fans listen to okay. "Roll Me Up When I Die." Roll me up. Oh, it has yeah. Willie Nelson, Snoop Dogg. That's Dog. a great song. I can't remember oh, the other two country the folk singers, Snoop but it's a good one. No, band. no, he's literally yeah, saying, yeah. just roll me yeah, up yeah, when yeah, yeah. I die. Uh -huh. I really hope Martha Stewart's mm. on it, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, special <laughs> special guest appearance. <laughs> she, she's more she's yeah. more good friends Martha with Snoop Dogg. Martha Stewart just coming oh, yeah. in, yeah, dropping yeah, yeah. a line. But it's surprisingly good. Well, I mean, good. I bet, I, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, like, I bet, like, she's been around, like, Snoop when, like, Willie's been around. Mm. I bet oh, they've, like, hung oh, out, absolutely. smoked some weed. <laughs> she's probably <laughs> cooking she's treats probably, for all of us. She's oh, done, she's oh, done oh, everything oh. with everybody. Dude, it's she, she Martha. definitely smoked some green after, like, doing some shows with Snoop Dogg. Oh, like, for I mean, sure. Absolutely. Like, you can't. Like, yeah. You can't not. Can not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably nice train of brownies, true. and they probably like decorate. I mean, there's they, they, uh -huh. a whole, there's a whole <laughs> night. That's they, true. That's true. They crafted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he After probably smoking. he probably right, right. <laughs> his his like brownie recipe is probably from his friend Martha. Yeah, I <laughs> bet. Uh, yeah, yeah, goddamn good brownie yeah. recipe. It's fucking hilarious. I tell you, she's <laughs> she's she's focused on that shit. Yeah, she knows how to bake that shit. The well, best. I mean, that's her whole fucking thing. I bet she goddamn it's Mar it's does. Martha. Martha. Martha Stewart. I have no proof, Martha, but I'm I'm willing to bet you make a goddamn good brownie. Oh mm. shit! I just looked at the time. We have to end this podcast. Please. Yeah, it's it's. it's um, I think we're done. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for joining us <laughs> on you. the album concept hour. Uh, we will uh, see you guys again uh, next week for uh, uh, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, we're going to be doing uh, Brian Wilson's Smile. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, uh, 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 the lead singer of Inspector 34 is coming back for another episode of the podcast. Uh, so you're not going to want to miss that. Uh, thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. The album concept hour is Brad LeBaron, Dave Gallagher, John Aker, and Jake the Snake Foster. Special thanks to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard for the theme music. Join the discussion on our Discord. Tweet to us at Album Concept Pod, or for everything else, go to Linktree slash Flyover State Park. See you on Side B. This is Flyover State Park. You are clear to land.